Spain for soul-satisfying sweets. Scratch Baking Company. All the components of a dessert that I love. Really good dough, jam, and icing, and then sprinkles. It's a party in a pastry. The movie night cake. Salted chocolate chiffon cake. Popcorn buttercream. Snack griddle. Chocolate ganache. Can I get a pound of this, please? Wicked whoopies. You have to have a whoopie pie. Soft, delicious cake. Light, sweet, airy filling. I'll take it to go. Catbird creamery. Have you ever had tamari caramel ice cream? Yeah, that's right. They salt the caramel with soy sauce. It's a powerful ice cream sandwich. These are unique sweets. yourself in Portland, Maine, and you're craving a little comfort, I highly suggest Scratch Baking Company. Now, hospitality can't be beat, but true to its name, everything is made from scratch. Cakes, cookies, pastries, brownies, and bars, the options are endless. Co-owner Sonia Swanberg loves making American classics. She's originally from Georgia, so don't be surprised when you see a few southern treats. She's putting the south in South Portland. Scones sound straightforward and basic, but when you order the toaster jam scone, you'll see there's nothing basic about it. I feel like scones are pretty British. Oh, hello, I'm a scone. But this is as American as a scone can get. I'm a scone! Good morning! Sorry, sometimes pastries talk to me. The ingredients for the dough are familiar. Flour, buttermilk, butter, and vanilla. The secret for a good flaky scone is to not overwork the dough, and they are sticklers about this here. They'd be terrible masseuses. They, like, barely touch that dough. The dough is divided into these two fat rectangles. Jam is spread on one side, and then the other is placed on top. This gets rolled out till it's three quarters of an inch thick. And then, using a bench knife, she cuts out little triangles. The ingredients for the icing are also really simple. Powdered sugar, buttermilk, and vanilla. While the icing is still wet, a colorful confetti of nonpareils is showered over the scone. Nonpareils are the glitter of the baking world. Too much is not enough. Who knew a scone could be so playful? This is the cutest pastry I've ever seen in my life. It's a party. It's a party in a pastry. This has all the components of a dessert that I love. It's got really good dough, jam, and icing. And then just to top it all off, sprinkles. That nice crunch. That is a sweet scone. The glaze is such a nice little treat. It's just the suggestion of sweet. You don't need it, but wow, gift with purchase. This feels like if you got straight A's on your report card, you get one of these. I never got that. Remember eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches as a kid? Or as an adult, because I totally still eat them. Well, Scratch Baking Company turned this childhood staple into an awesome snack. And it's a Concord grape and peanut butter snack cake. And you don't even need to cut the crust off. You have your peanut butter batter, jelly filling, a giant handful of streusel that is filled with salted roasted peanuts. This has all the flavor elements that we know and love from a peanut butter sandwich in the form of cake. It is so delicious. This is really time travel through pastry. I just need a glass of milk and it's like I'm in grade school again. I love that this snack cake wears its flavor on its sleeve. It's like, here's what I am. I'm a peanut butter and jelly snack cake. Get used to it. Don't change. Never change. The showstopper at Scratch Baking Company is hands down the movie night cake. It's all your favorite movie theater snacks in one cake. It starts with a salty cocoa chiffon cake. That's my stage name. The batter has cake flour, cocoa powder, sugar, eggs, oil, vanilla, water, and of course, salt. A cloud of beaten egg whites lightens the dark chocolate batter. After they get baked, you can see how light and airy these chiffon cakes are. The buttercream is flavored with, get this, salted popcorn. The next time I go to the movies, I'm going to bring a tub of buttercream and dip my popcorn in that. That's how I roll. Before the 
cake is assembled, they still need to make one last thing. Brittle. Peanuts, pretzels, and potato chips all get mixed and crushed together. It's like poker night got pulverized. Hot caramel is poured over the snacks. And then before it can harden all the way, they put it in a sheet pan and flatten it out into one big slab. We interrupt this movie night cake for a brief intermission, but don't go too far because this cake is about to take center stage. Cocoa molasses cornmeal cookies. Yeah, I, fair warning, these cookies are really addictive. It's kind of like eating a hug. Scratch Baking Company is a small neighborhood bakery in South Portland, Maine that's serving up your favorite classic sweets. With a twist. A fan favorite is the movie night cake. Oh, I loved you in the pastry case. You were so amazing. The cast includes salted chocolate chiffon cake, popcorn buttercream, snack brittle, and let's not forget our supporting player, chocolate ganache. Excellent in that role. Just really mm -hmm. beautiful. To build this epic movie night cake, a thick layer of popcorn buttercream is spread on top of one layer of the cocoa chiffon cake. Another layer of cake goes on top and then more popcorn buttercream. You can actually see little specks of popcorn, which is pretty much the coolest thing ever. Next comes the dark chocolate ganache. It is spread over the top and it just pours down the sides. It just drizzles everywhere. Shards of the snack brittle crown the cake. I want a crown of snack brittle. Even just a slice of this cake is epic. I was kind of starstruck by this movie night cake. <laughs> it's like when you take your favorite chocolate candies and pour them into the bowl of popcorn and let it melt. It's like chocolatey and sweet and salty all at once. I didn't know my life was missing snack brittle until I took that first bite. Can I get a pound of this, please? <laughs> Whoa. I really wanted a sequel. The fans demand a sequel. <laughs> Movie night cake? That's a wrap. Before you step out of Scratch Baking Company, make sure you take home some cocoa molasses cornmeal cookies. The inspiration is the traditional cornmeal and molasses pudding that's really popular all over New England. Fair warning, these cookies are really addictive, so make sure you get more than one. Like a dozen, or 13, 14. They take molasses, cocoa powder, and cornmeal, and they blend them with flour, sugar, butter, and vanilla to create a cookie dough. They shape it into a log and freeze it, so it's easy to make even slices. Just sell me that frozen log. I'll just take the whole thing home. This really works for me. So she's slicing these perfect slices, and every time you get more excited about getting to eat these cookies. It's kind of like watching coins being made. It's like cha -ching, cha -ching, cha -ching. Then it's a quick bake in the oven. So I take a bite. Hold on. That's cornmeal. And I get the crunch from the cornmeal and those deep, dark notes from the cocoa. It's really doing a favor to this cookie. You've got this great, fresh corn flavor in it. You've got this deep molasses. It's kind of like eating a hug. As sweet as the molasses is, it still has that kind of earthiness that is in the corn as well. They're both sweet and earthy. Kind of like two hippies that got married. The motto for Maine is the way life should be. And at Scratch okay. Baking Company, they are completely living up to it. You absolutely have to add Scratch Baking Company to your main itinerary. Empty out your suitcase of all your clothes, just leave them behind, and then fill your suitcase with Scratch Baking Company treats. You'll be really glad you did. Cookies, more important than pants. Mm. The thing weighs a whopping five pounds. Try to wrap your brain around that. Meet you in the middle. Five <laughs> because it is the state treat. <laughs> it's your obligation as a tourist, and if you're a Mainer like me, it's actually your civic duty. What's not to love? 
It's two soft snack cakes that sandwich a creamy filling. And the place that has the most hoopla is Wicked Whoopies in Freeport, Maine. Amy Bouchard is the creator and owner of the Wicked Whoopies Empire. They have two shops as well as an online and wholesale business. The best thing about Wicked Whoopies is that the cakes and filling come in different flavors. Like they have 20 different flavors. There's chocolate lovers. There's a chocolate chip whoopie pie. There is an oatmeal cream, a strawberry cream whoopie pie. There's a lip smacking lemon and an orange cream. If you've dreamt it, she's probably made it. Let's start with the classic, which is the chocolate cakes with the vanilla filling. It's everything you want, soft, delicious cake, and that light, sweet, airy filling. It's a simple recipe that uses basic pantry items, flour, cocoa powder, sugar, eggs, water, and oil. This thick, glossy batter is portioned out with an ice cream scoop. Just four ingredients are needed for the filling. Confectioner sugar, water, clear vanilla, and vegetable shortening. A heaping scoop goes onto each one of the cakes. The tops are pressed on, which helps even out the filling. What I love about these whoopie pies is the cake is just the softest, freshest tasting cake. It's so moist. Oh. <laughs> it's so pillowy. It's so light and fluffy. It almost isn't there. It's like the best parts of a cupcake. It's a frosting sandwich. Mm -hmm. And the bread is cake. Mm -hmm. Before you know it, you're licking your fingers because the whole thing is gone. The classic whoopie pie is about four and a quarter inches and weighs six ounces. And then there's the jumbo. It is 12 times bigger than the standard. She's just beautiful. I'll take it to go. This thing weighs a whopping five pounds. Like, try to wrap your brain around that. And then try to wrap your mouth around it. We, we did. We tried. Oh my God. Ooh. We gave it a really, really good try. Yes, by Whoopi. Make sure in the middle. <laughs> Fine, succeed. We're still living. For the next Whoopi Pie, two of my favorite foods come together. Bananas and peanut butter. Normally, I have a banana and a scoop of peanut butter, and I eat them together like a savage. But here, at Wicked Whoopi, they, like, put them together for me. For the banana cake, it's a blend of flour, sugar, baking soda, and salt, which then gets mixed with eggs, vegetable oil, banana puree, banana extract, and cinnamon. The secret of this amazing peanut butter filling is they actually just add smooth peanut butter to the original vanilla filling. So assembling the whoopie pie, she just scoops each one with that delicious peanut butter filling. Once the peanut butter filling has been scooped on, the top halves go on, and you see that tidal wave of peanut butter pushing out to the sides of the cake. It's miraculous. Get a mouthful of this fluffy peanut butter in every bite. Stop it. Mm-hmm. Banana bread with peanut butter broth food? That's perfect. This is one of the most indulgent ways I could ever think to enjoy peanut butter and bananas. We'll be pie version. To peanut butter. Going to banana. You walk into Wicked Whoopies like a normal person, checking out some whoopie pies, and before you know it, you're just the grabbiest, gotta get this, gotta get this, every basket you have your hands in. You become a kid instantly. I think it's actually state law that you can't leave Maine without having a whoopie pie, so take a local's advice and stop at Wicked Whoopies. You'll thank me later. I told you that there was a place putting corn in their ice cream. Wouldn't you want to jump in a car with us and go on a little field trip? Sure, you trust us, right? Yes. If I told you that there was a place putting corn in their ice cream or salting their caramel with soy sauce or using green tea cookies for ice cream sandwiches, like, wouldn't you want to jump in a car with us and go on a little field trip? Sure, you trust us, right? Yes. Catbird Creamery is having a lot of 
fun with ice cream. They're located in Westbrook, which is just five miles outside of Portland. Husband and wife team Andrew Warren and Corey DiGiromo worked in the restaurant industry for over 20 years. And you can taste their culinary creativity in every bite. This signature summertime favorite is the blueberry sweet corn ice cream. And if they have honey walnut cookies on the menu, you definitely want to make an ice cream sandwich. These are some of nature's best flavors transformed into a frozen sweet treat. The kernels and the cobs are steeped in a hot bath of heavy cream and milk. They add sugar for sweetness and salt for seasoning. The wild Maine blueberries and a little bit of sugar get cooked down into this thick compote. The strained corn milk is added to the blueberries and becomes a super vivid lavender color. This gets churned, and then when it comes out, it's pretty much the best flavors of summer, frozen in time. To build the ice cream sandwich, three scoops, one, two, three, are tucked into honey walnut cookies. <laughs> Folks, get ready to unhinge your jaw. <laughs> like ladies. Mm-hmm. That honey walnut cookie is so good because it's crispy and sugary on top, and then the blueberries just, I mean, they make everything taste better. It's so sweet and nutty. I know it can't taste purple, but it tastes purple. It is delicious. It is beautiful. It is everything ice cream should be. Tavern Creamery really lets you have fun with your ice cream sandwiches. We've all had salted caramel ice cream. But have you ever had tamari caramel ice cream? Yeah, that's right. They salt the caramel with soy sauce. Wait, I'm sorry. Soy sauce in my ice cream on, pur on purpose? This gives the caramel a hint of salt, but also this deep, rich, earthy flavor, which some would call umami, as Paulette would say. Umami like! You can have the same cookie from the top and the bottom, or mix and match. So here's what I came up with. A chocolate chocolate chip cookie, a scoop of tamari caramel ice cream, a scoop of chocolate ice cream, and then for good measure, another scoop of tamari caramel ice cream. On top of that beauty, a green tea sugar cookie. It's a powerful ice cream sandwich. You should approach it with caution. I'm a brave girl. I can try to conquer this. The green tea cookie paired so well with those delicious caramel notes. There's salty, there's sweet, there's that earthy green tea. There's a ton of chocolate, which is I'm happy with, you know? Because this ice cream sandwich is so savory, you can justify eating it as a meal. At least I did. Mm. Catbird Creamery surprises you at every turn. Because here is this little ice cream shop. It's pretty modest in a sleepy town. But they are serving up such interesting, innovative flavors here. This playful spin is what Catbird Creamery is all about. I've never been more proud of my home state. When I heard that, I was like, oh, this is... Oh, no! <laughs> I'm so sorry! Is this the large? I like talking to walls. <laughs> 